we actually met in 1966. Actually, we were fixed up on a blind date. We kind of liked each other. And before we knew it, uh, I gave her an engagement ring. We'll be married 40, we've been married 45 years come 45 April. 45 years. Mm -hmm. And we finished our high school. And uh, at that summer, I got my good old draft notice and I was drafted into the Army on December 1, 1966. I arrived in Vietnam in the uh, first of the year in 1968. I was with the 1st Air Cab, 13th Signal Battalion. There was a several barrel shower set up, uh, just like our I guess you would call it outhouse. Our showers were all out of the 55 gallon drums and we just walked up underneath the drum and, and pulled the rope and the water came down on, on us and that was our shower. I was told and I've read many times now that those barrels were shipped there with the chemical, the dioxin in it that they used for spraying. I survived a tour in Vietnam, uh, came back home and my wife Paula and I resumed our life uh, and we had three children. My daughter, Emily, just turned 32 on uh, last Wednesday. When she was two and a half years old, we found out my daughter had a brain tumor and a cyst. Uh, it was called a cystic astrocytoma. She got the tumor taken out, which was told us it would never be done. Uh, they got it all out except for a little piece of the cyst, but it left my daughter very handicapped. She lost the use of her right arm, her hand. She has a very bad limp on the right side, but my daughter is very independent. She's got her own home. She's got her own car. She works for the federal government for the, the Navy base in Jacksonville, Florida. And as of this week, she seems to be very, very happy. And we're happy for her that she survived. They came in and told me I had approximately three weeks to live. Immediately they started chemo on me, which they'd done about 12 steps, according to what the doctor told my wife. Uh, 12 steps in one, basically one day's time. And I was informed that you only have 20, 25% chance of having a brother or sister or a sibling that would be a match like your sister. Your, your sister matched for 100%. But all this chemo and all the other problems, um, I've had two trans or two pacemakers put in my heart. Uh, the first one was in when I was 55. I just had my second one put in uh, in April, this past April. So I'm working on the second pacemaker, uh, which they tell me is caused from ischemic heart disease. The doctor did not personally mention Agent Orange. He did mention that the disease I have is basically chemical related. I had people tell me, you know, I'm, I'm a miracle, I'm this, I'm that. I'm, uh, my doctors told me I'm the celebrity patient for the Siteman Cancer Center, and I, I don't really, in one way, feel that way, but another way, I do kind of feel that way because I wouldn't be sitting here now if I wouldn't have had my sister to save my laugh and the doctors I've had. What you think? <laughs> well, I hope someone sees me and, and sees the problems I've had. The whole thing is very strange to me because out of a big family, and I'm the only one out of the family that went to Vietnam and served in Vietnam, and I'm the only one that has two pacemakers put in already at age 62, and I'm the only one that's been diagnosed with the AML, the leukemia that I have. I hope to increase awareness because um, it's just since his leukemia that I've really become aware that the Agent Orange could be the cause of all of this. and. Um, I just feel that people need to know. I figure I must be here for a reason. <laughs>